Hello and welcome to Kickstart. In this video, we are going to be updating and adjusting our 3D drawing. We've drawn something on the screen, not quite happy with how it looks or some cameras seem to be adjusted and we need to find out how to do just that. Well, this is the video just for that. As usual, I am Ludwig von Markerbellum, your host and your travel buddy in this magical journey that is Markerbellum Kickstart. And as usual, I'm going to say something that involves the word kickstart. So let's kickstart this kickstart. So here we are back in our kickstart project. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to showcase some microphone commands that we can use to move, rotate, copy, and erase products from our model space. So we're going to be mainly focusing on our 3D objects. And we're going to be going down to our modify tab below here. And we're going to be going to our modified products. And here we have a list of microvellum commands that we can use to modify our cabinets. The main ones we're going to be utilizing for now are these ones over here. So first one I'm going to use is my move. And this obviously lets me move my cabinets anywhere I want in my model space. Now, just a little bit of housekeeping with this. This is microvellum move. What's the difference between microvellum move and your regular run-of-the-mill move? Well, your regular run of the mill move is going to be used specifically for your AutoCAD objects. Now, these cabinets have been drawn using the Markovelm library. They've been drawn by using the draw and the draw product subcategory in here. These were not drawn using AutoCAD objects from scratch. So we need to make sure that we're using the modify and the modify product commands over here. Best way to tell the difference whether you're using the correct command or not. If you want to use it on a microvellum product, if you click on this move over here, you can see that the move is actually MV move. If I use the AutoCAD move up the top over here, you can see it's just move, not the move that I want to use for my 3D microvellum products. So we're going to go over to my microvellum move and it's going to ask me to select what cabinet I would like to move. I'm just going to click on this happy little guinea pig over here, Mr. Two Door Base and hit enter. And the base point is pretty much saying from what point are we moving the cabinet from? Now, I would like to move this cabinet a set distance, say 100 mil to the right. So to do that, the way I like to move my cabinet this way is specify a point away from anything on my screen. So this spot here will do. It's gonna give him a left click, and now what's gonna ask me to do is to specify a second point, where you're gonna move that cabinet to. So since I'm moving in my set distance, I just need to point the mouse in the direction I want to move my cabinet. If I want to move him up, I just move my mouse up. If I want to move him along the wall, I just move him along the same direction as my wall. Now you can see there's a yellow checkered line and that yellow checkered line is telling me that this is the direction I'm going to move my cabinet. Now if I move my mouse, I can see that there's a green checkered line at a certain point. And this guy's pretty much telling me that this green checkered line is gonna help my cabinet move in a straight direction. He's not gonna move slightly up, slightly down, slightly left, slightly right. It's gonna move in the straight and narrow in this direction over here. So now that I've got my mouse in a green checkered line with a yellow checkered line telling me that this is the direction he's moving, I just need to now type in the distance. 100 mil, 100. Hit enter. And he has now moved along that wall 100 mil. Now this is if I know that I want to move them in a set distance. There's another way we can move and that's from point to point. Say I want to move this cabinet over here to be right next to this tall cabinet right over here. If I go back to my move, I can once again click on the cabinet I would like to move and hit enter. Now here once again it's going to ask me to specify a base point. But rather than pick the base point somewhere out in open space, I'm going to click on a certain corner of my cabinet. So that corner is going to be the base point and that's where I'm going to be moving my cabinet from. So if I click in this bench top corner over here, this is where I'm moving my cabinet from. The next point is going to be where that point is going. So since I've clicked on the back corner of my bench top, that back corner, I now need to tell it to be along my cabinet over here. I can see that green checkered line. I can see a perpendicular snap point, meaning that my cabinet is gonna be still moving in a straight direction. Click over here, 
and there is now my cabinet along my tall cabinet. I'm going to move him back to this wall over here because I forgot there is a door over here. Just by going back to move, clicking on my cabinet, enter, once again, specifying a base point. I'm going to select this corner over here instead with the left click and move him to this part of my wall over here with another left click. And there's my cabinet over there. Now I can also copy cabinets by utilizing the copy command over here. And it works pretty much tit for tat like my move. So I'm gonna click on copy, click on the cabinet I would like to copy, being this one over here, and I'm gonna hit enter. Now, once again, similar to my move, he's gonna ask me for a base point. And I'm gonna tell my base point to be this corner over here. Give him a left click, and now I'm gonna tell the second point to be on this corner meaning that the left corner of my original cabinet is gonna go over to the right. So, click on this corner over here. And there is my cabinet right next to him. Now you can also move cabinets off the wall, but in order to do so, we need to tell it to no longer be associated to that wall. Now cabinets are associated to walls if you place them onto a wall or if you add an association to it. How to remove one? Well, we're gonna go over to our Modify tab, and we're gonna go over to the Modify Room Component sub-tab. And these two buttons over here let you associate products to the wall and correspondingly remove cabinets from the wall. So if I click on this button over here, click on a cabinet I would like to remove from my wall, and hit Enter. Now, not much is gonna change visually, but now if I go back to my Modify Products and go back to my Move, I can click on the cabinet, hit enter, specify a base point. I'm gonna move him, say, one meter off the wall in this direction. So I'm gonna click in open space, move my mouse, there's that green checkered line, telling him that I'm moving him in the straight and narrow, and I'm gonna type in a thousand. And there he is, a meter off my wall. Now. I can also rotate this guy. I can rotate him to be in any direction I would like by going over to my rotate button. As you can see, similar to my Marcavel move, it's an MV rotate, not the AutoCAD rotate over here. So now if I click on my cabinet, it's gonna ask me how much I wanna rotate him by. If I rotate him 90 degrees, I can type in 90. In this example, I actually wanna go negative 90 because I wanna rotate him in a clockwise motion, hit enter, that's now rotated my cabinet that way. I can also erase my cabinets as well using my erase over here. Now it's important that I use the marker volume erase and not delete on my keyboard or use the erase over here when I'm erasing my 3D marker volume product. So once again, I'm gonna hit erase and make sure that it is MV erase. And I'm gonna click on the cabinet I'll no longer like. You can select multiple at once. I am gonna unfortunately say goodbye to my guinea pig. You have done me well, but this is sayonara. So the cabinet, hit enter. It's gonna ask you, are you sure? And in this case, I am sure, and I'm gonna hit yes. And there you go, my cabinets. So these are the basic movement options, erase options, copy options within Markovel. There are a few other handy tools that we can use. One of them is a tool that we call adjust wall length. As you can see on this wall over here, I've got a whole bunch of cabinets drawn up. However, silly me, I have accidentally put in the wrong size of my wall and I need to adjust my cabinets to suit. There's a special command that we can use for this that's within my modify tab and within my modify room components sub tab. And that is called adjust wall length. If I click on this button, a little pop-up's gonna appear. Now, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the wall that I need to adjust. So, I'm gonna click on this button over here, and I'm gonna click on this wall that I need to adjust. Give him a left click and give him an enter. He's gonna do some thinking, and he's gonna see that there's some cabinets that are associated to this wall. Now, from here, I can say what the new wall length is meant to be. I actually got my wall wrong by a lot, and instead of 3,000 mil, it was actually meant to be 3,300 mil. So, now that I've got a new wall length set up, I need to tell the wall what cabinets are gonna adjust with it. And that's where these adjust size tick boxes come in. You can specify what cabinets are gonna adjust in width 
shift and grow to adjust to suit. So I'm gonna tell my corner cabinet to stay put. I'm also gonna tell my oven unit to stay put as well. So I'm gonna tell these three cabinets, one, two, and three, that you guys are gonna grow in size to fill out the adjusted space. I'm also gonna tell all three of my overheads to adjust to suit as well. And once I hit update selected wall, it's gonna do the rest for me. It's gonna start off by adjusting the wall size, and then it's gonna start moving and growing the cabinets that I want it to move and I want it to grow. And there is now my wall adjusted with the corresponding cabinets adjusting in width and position as well. Now I can also see that if I go to a top view, I have drawn up some 2D drawings that I use the 2D drawings tool within my microfilm toolbar. And as you can see along the plan view, that my 2D wall elevation has also adjusted with my 3D wall elevation. Now, once again, I drew these walls over here by utilizing the draw tab and the 2D drawing sub tab. And I drew these cabinets in using my draw 2D wall elevations as well. Now we can also adjust our cabinets through what we call our product prompts. Now product prompts is an interface that we use to make adjustments to our cabinets using functions and parameters that we've set up within our cabinets. So we go over to our modify, to our modify product sub tab, and over here up the very top is our product prompt. If I click on this button and click on a cabinet, it brings up the product prompt for that cabinet, allowing me to adjust things like width, height, depth, what's inside the cabinet, what my faces are doing, just to name a few things that we can adjust. However, this is just one cabinet we're adjusting. So what happens if you wanna adjust, say, the width out of multiple cabinets at once? Well, you wouldn't use the product prompt button. Instead, what you would use is the edit multiple product prompt button within our modify product sub tab. Click on this button, it's gonna ask you which cabinets would you like to modify. Say for example, I would like to modify all my overheads over here. I just have to click on my overheads, doing so like this, and hit enter once you've selected your cabinets. Now it's gonna bring up the edit multiple product prompt interface. And as you can see in the middle here, these are my cabinets that I've selected. And these are some prompts that I have available within my products. Now if I highlight over this list and I right click within that list, I can edit those multiple prompts. I can go to say width and I can change my width of my cabinets to say a good sold 800 and all my cabinet widths will adjust accordingly. I can also add various prompts that need to be adjusted among those cabinets as well outside of my width, height and depth. And those prompts are on the left hand side here. So if I want all my cabinets to have a lock added to them, I can click on the add lock prompt over here and that's now added the add lock prompt into the middle here. If I highlight over these guys once more, right click, I can now adjust my add lock prompt. So if I click on him, I can say that yes, I would like my locks to be turned on for my cabinets. So since it's a tick box, I'm just gonna hit one. And all my cabinets would have those locks adjusted. Now, if I hit redraw on close and I hit close, I can redraw those cabinets as well with those adjusted sizes and with my locks turned on. And those are just some handy tools that we can use to modify our 3D drawings, to modify our cabinets and adjust our walls within our drawing. And that will be it for this video today. Once again, as usual, thank you so much for watching these videos. I am Ludwig from Microvolume. Have a wonderful day and take care of yourselves.